Tribuco Mesa Bulldogs and welcome to Storyland. We're so excited to be here today to do a little read aloud and we're going to be reading Sneezy the Snowman and this is written by Maureen Wright and illustrated by Stephen Gilpin. And this is the story of Sneezy, who's the snowman, who just can't get comfortable but with the help from his friends, he figures it out. Here we go with Sneezy the Snowman. Sneezy the Snowman shivered, brr. It's cold out here, that's for sure. I need a drink to warm me up. So, he drank cocoa from a cup. He said with a smile, I like this a lot. And then right there, believe it or not, he melted from drinking something too hot. The children cried out, what, what should we, we do? do? A voice from the puddle said, make me brand new. They rebuilt Sneezy as snowflakes flew. A cold winter wind swirled and blew. The snowman sneezed a gigantic achoo. I'm sneezing and freezing and shivering too, a little girl said. Then let's share. I have something you can wear. Here's my hat to put on your head. You look awesome, the children said. The snowman blinked his cold black eyes. The stocking cap was a nice surprise. But Sneezy the snowman shivered, brr. It's cold out here, that's for sure. I'm freezing every minute. I'll find a hot tub and sit right in it. Uh-oh, Sneezy. He found one and smiled. I like this a lot. And then right there, believe it or not, he melted from sitting in water too hot. The children cried out, what, what should, should we, we do? do? A voice from the hot tub said, make me brand new. They rebuilt Sneezy as snowflakes flew. A cold winter wind swirled and blew. The snowman sneezed a gigantic achoo! I'm sneezing and freezing and shivering too. A little boy said, then let's share. I have something you can wear. Here's my scarf that's red and blue. I think it would look great on you. The snowman blinked his coal black eyes. The colorful scarf was a nice surprise. It went very well with the long pink hat. The children said, how about that? But Sneezy the snowman shivered, brr. It's cold out here, that's for sure. I need, some, I need to feel some warmth on me. There's a campfire by that tree. Oh, Sneezy, you're such a troublemaker for yourself. He said with a smile, I like this a lot. And then right there, believe it or not, he melted from standing beside something too hot. The children cried out, what should we do? A voice from the puddle said, make me brand new. They rebuilt Sneezy as snowflakes flew. A cold winter wind swirled and blew. The snowman sneezed a gigantic achoo. I'm sneezing and freezing and shivering too. A little girl said, then let's share. I have something you can wear. Here's my coat, the perfect fit. I know that you'll look good in it. The snowman blinked his coal black eyes. The bright orange coat was a nice surprise. It went very well with the scarf and the hat. The children all said, how about that? But Sneezy said, whew, I'm way too hot. I'll take off all the new clothes that I've got. Oh no, the children yelled, no, that's not the way. Listen to what we have to say. Buy something cold at the ice cream store. Have two scoops or three or four. Sneezy ate ice cream, seven scoops high. This is great, the snowman cried. I'm not too cold and I'm not too hot and I'm wearing clothes I like a lot. Then after eating every bite, he said, at last, I feel just right. 
The end. Good old Sneezy. He finally listened to his friends. That silly Sneezy. All he needed to do was listen to his friends. He has some good friends, doesn't he? <laughs> He's lucky. Well, thank you Bulldogs for joining us for our read aloud. Bye. Hey bookworm parents. If you'd like to get a copy of this book or pick up one of our super cool reading teas, click on the links below. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe.